This past week, we had a training session for all of our middle school families on how to use Google Classroom and the parent portal. I know some of you could not make it, so we wanted to make it available to you in this video. Google Classroom is the tool that teachers use to post assignments for students and parents to see. You can access Google Classroom at the website listed here, or you can download the free app for your smartphone. In order to access the Google Classroom, you will need to log into it with your child's school email address. It is their first and last name at SalemVikings.org. You will need to get the password from your child. Once logged into Google, you can click on the nine cubes in the upper right hand corner. You will then click on Google Classroom. Once you are logged into Google Classroom, you will then see a page that will list all of your child's classes. When you click on a class, you will want to click on the word classwork at the top of the page to see all of their upcoming assignments. All of their assignments will be organized by dates. Click on any assignment to see more details. Once you have clicked on an assignment, you will see the instructions for what is to be due and the due date. Sometimes there will be a document attached for the student to work on. When completed, students will attach the document and click turn it in. Or if they have the document open and they have completed it, they can click turn it in in the upper right hand corner. Students or parents can also download a free app called Cam Scanner on their smartphone. You can take a picture of a printed document and it will turn it into a PDF that can then be turned in through Google Classroom. To see your child's other classes or the calendar, click the three lines in the upper left hand corner. If you want to see all of their assignments in one place, click on the calendar. With the calendar view, you can see all of their assignments. If you want to know more details, just click on the individual assignment. If you download the Google Classroom app on your phone, this is what it will look like. Just select one of the classes. On the left, you will see what it looks like when you select a class. At the bottom, select classwork. Once you select classwork, you will see what it looks like on the right. Just select an assignment to see more details. On the left side of the screen, you can see what it will look like once you select one of the assignments. You can click your work at the bottom of the page and the right side of the screen shows what it will look like and how you can turn your work in. A couple of reminders. Sometimes teachers will post things in assignments that do not need to be turned in, such as a test date or a study guide or notes for a class. Also, pay attention to see if the assignment is for our virtual online learners only. Also, all work done in Google Documents is time stamped so teachers can see when it is done and how long it took students to complete. The Parent Portal is part of our school's management software called RenWeb. It is where you can see your child's grades, demerits, financial information, along with many other things. You can ac access it by going to the school's website at www.salemvikings.org and clicking on Parents Web. Once at the site, click Parent Login and then from the drop-down menu, 
select Parents Web. The district code is SB-NC. You will then use your username and password that you created when you set up your fax account. If you do not remember it, you may contact the school office and we will help you. Once you are logged in, click student on the left hand side. If you have multiple students, you can select the student you want to see. You will then see a drop down menu of all the things that you can see about your student. Remember homework is in the Google Classroom, not in Parents Web. Click on grades to see their current grades. At the top of the page in the middle, you can select each class that you would like to see. You will see all of their grades, daily grades, which include homework, quizzes, and daily grades, which account for 30% of their grade. And you'll be able to see their major grades, which include tests and major projects, and is 70% of the grade. And at the bottom is their overall quarter average. If you click on behavior on the left hand side, you will see any demerits that they have received. Click on each quarter to see what demerits they have received. And remember, each week a student goes with no demerits, they receive a merit, which means we take one demerit away. If you have any questions about how to use the Google Classroom or the Parents Web, please don't hesitate to contact the school office.